Explore the iconic town of Ravello on the Amalfi Coast. This video covers everything you need to see and do during your stay here. Rivello, the shining jewel of the Amalfi Coast is a destination that is not for the faint of heart. Nestled on a rocky cliff overlooking the shimmering sea, this picturesque town bordering Positano is the perfect place to take in the world's most picturesque coastline. From villas to lush groves and vineyards, Rivello is truly a piece of heaven on earth. Whether it's a week or just a day trip to this beautiful town, there are numerous things to see and do. If you are planning a trip to the Amalfi Coast, here is your complete guide to the best things to do in Rivello. Best things to do in Rivello. Rivello is one of the best island resorts in Italy and a place frequented by movie stars. If you are planning a trip to this beautiful destination, we recommend spending a couple of days here to immerse yourself in all that this coastal town has to offer. Here are the best places to see during your stay in Rivello. 1. Villa Cimbrone. One of Rivello's best attractions are the terraced gardens that offer incredible views of the Amalfi Coast and beyond. One of the two most famous gardens in the town is Villa Cimbrone. This garden known for its elegance and opulence bears a striking resemblance to the centuries-old palaces that are common in cities such as Vienna and Paris. Villa Simborn offers a much-needed break from the hustle and bustle of big Italian cities like Florence and Rome. Hours can be spent wandering the spacious gardens overlooking the serene blue sea and coastline. The most famous spot at Villa Simbrone is the Terrace of Infinity flanked by Romanesque statues. As you stand atop the iconic terrace, you can see the deep sea below and the stone houses that dot the Amalfi Cliffs. Villa Simbrone has seen many famous visitors over the years including T.S. Eliot and Virginia Woolf. 2. Villa Rafolo. Villa Rafolo rivals Villa Simbrone in magnificence and beauty, but is in visual contrast to the adjacent garden. While Simbrone offers views of the waterscape, Rafolo exhibits the floral beauty of Ravello. Visitors can feel at one with nature as they stroll through Villa Rafolo's beautiful gardens. The villa dates back to the 13th century and exemplifies the splendid architecture for which Amalfi is known. The famous composer Richard Wagner is said to have found his inspiration for the opera, Parsifal, during a visit to the gardens. Villa Rafolo is a must-see during a trip to the Italian island for stunning views of the Gulf of Salerno. In addition to the gardens, there is a tower and museum on the grounds that are worth a visit. The entrance to the Rifolo is located in Rivello's main square, Piazza Vescovado. 3. Piazza del Comune Piazza Vescovado. After a walk through Rivello's picturesque villa, take a break in the town's main square, Piazza Vescovado. This is a great place to people watch and grab a bite to eat or drink. You can also shop in the piazza. Locally made pottery, paintings on canvas and cloth bags are great souvenirs of Ravello. The main square offers beautiful views of the mountains that surround the region and provide a backdrop to the ocean. The square also houses Ravello's cathedral, designed in Romanesque architecture and definitely worth a visit. 4. Ravello Cathedral Another famous site in Ravello is Ravello Cathedral, an imposing cathedral located in the center of the city that dates back to the year 1087. The cathedral is known for its large bronze doors that turn inward and feature a sculpture of Christ surrounded by saints. The doors are typical of Romanesque architecture and were designed by Barasano de Trani in 1179. The interior of the church includes mosaic carvings and medieval architecture with Christian symbols. The small museum inside the church is also worth a visit. The cathedral is open daily from 9 a.m. to noon and 5.30 to 7 p.m. 5. Path of the Gods a great way to explore the coastline surrounding Rivello is to hike through the Path of the Gods. This 7-kilometer trail stretches from Bomarano to Nacelle, with many small villages in between, and offers incredible views of the Amalfi Coast. The hiking trail is a short drive from Rivello and absolutely worth it. To beat the crowds and enjoy some lonely cliff-top views, plan your time to start your hike at 7 a.m. The trail will take you through stone houses, wildflowers and forests. You may even catch a glimpse of the growing vines that line the hillside. However, the real surprise lies at the end of the hike, where you can experience a Amalfi from the clouds. Stand at the top of the highest cliff and see the deep blue ocean below you surrounded by the hillside houses for which Amalfi is famous. The Path of God's Excursion is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. 6. 
cruise along the Amalfi Coast. A trip to Ravello is not complete without a cruise along the beautiful Amalfi Coast. This coastal region is one of the world's famous places and a popular summer destination among celebrities. A cruise along the coast will take you through the region's famous towns such as Ravello and Positano. It is the best way to get a bird's eye view of the coastal towns and capture those coveted photos of the sea cliffs. After sailing along the Amalfi Coast, you can end the day with a hearty Italian meal in Ravello or one of the nearby towns. There are also numerous bars along the coast that offer incredible sunset views. 7. Visit the undiscovered village of Atrani. A short distance from Ravello is the hidden but beautiful fishing village of Atrani. The island features houses stacked on top of each other, leaving this town isolated from its more famous neighbors. If you're looking for a break from the crowds of Positano and Ravello, Atrani is worth your time. The highlight of this fishing village is the hike that takes you through the entire village and sea cliffs. You can also take a walking tour of Amalfi and Atrani. The trail is a downhill path that offers views of the sea on one side and several hidden houses with stone walls on the other. Atrani is situated on a cliff jutting into the ocean that serves as a perfect vantage point for the entire coastline. End the day at the beach and enjoy some seafood at one of the many local restaurants. 8. Experience a cooking class. Italian food is undoubtedly at the heart of Italian culture, and one of the best experiences for visitors to Rivello is a cooking class. The class is not only about learning how to prepare a good meal, but you can also enjoy an unforgettable culinary experience in a real Rivello home. Mama Agata's cooking class is a must-try on a trip to Rivello. You will learn how to prepare a complete meal during the class, including appetizers, main course and dessert. Students can also visit the vegetable garden at Mama Agata's home to harvest vegetables for the meal. The class ends with a beautiful lunch on Mama Agata's terrace, where you can enjoy your meal overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. 9. Minori Walk One of the best ways to explore Minori and its surrounding regions is on foot. If you fancy a hike, consider taking the stairs to Minori from Rivello. The trail begins at Villa Rifolo where a downhill staircase at the archway will take you to the village of Minori. The hike is fairly easy and just follow the signs to avoid any paths leading uphill. The hike is downhill. The road to Minori offers breathtaking views of terraces, vineyards, gardens and the Amalfi Coast. Like Atrani, Minori is a secluded village and does not see too many tourists, so you can relax and enjoy the sun and sea. The town's two main attractions are Villa Romana and the Basilica of Santa Trofimena. You can end the day at one of the many waterfront restaurants and enjoy an authentic Campanian dish. 10. Grab a bite to eat. After a day of hiking and sightseeing, grab a bite to eat at one of Rivello's many restaurants. Since the town is not too big, it is not too difficult to find the best places to eat. Each meal ends with a complimentary limoncello. Rivello is known for its lemons. Here are the best places to eat in Rivello. Mimi Bar Pizzeria. One of the best places for pizza in Rivello and maybe even Amalfi. Mimi Bar Pizzeria has a wide variety of pizzas to choose from. If you visit Rivello in summer, you can also enjoy your meal on the outdoor terrace. Mimi Bar also offers visitors a complimentary limoncello with their order. Kumpa Cosimo. For an authentic Italian meal, head to Campa Cusimo a four-generation family-owned restaurant in Rivello. Kumpa Cosimo does not have a set menu, and dishes change according to the season. The fettuccine and bolognese are good choices, and for dessert you can feast on a lemon delight cake. The restaurant is a landmark among the rich and famous like John Legend. Ristorante Rossellini. If you're looking to indulge in the luxury of a meal, check out Rossellini's in Palazzo Avino. The restaurant combines food and art to prepare a visually appealing meal. The menu includes a nine-course meal including three dessert courses. Some of the dishes on the tasting menu include ahi tuna, lamb loin, ricotta, and fruit mousse topped with fresh fruit. An in-house sommelier will help you choose the best wine to pair with your food. A Rosalini meal is a real treat for the senses and one of the best things to do in Rivello. Rivello is the perfect destination for a trip to Italy. It is often called the jewel of the Amalfi Coast and rightly so. From scenic hikes that take you across the coast and cruises that offer breathtaking views of the Amalfi Coast, Rivello has so much to offer. The town offers a more relaxed atmosphere to Italy's larger cities such as Rome and Milan. 
Relax and enjoy this corner of earthly paradise while feasting on tasty Italian food and a glass of limoncello. We hope this video on the best things to do in Rivello can help you plan the perfect trip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see soon around Italy.